Wow, look at this. Um, look at this is uh, another beginner map by uh, Mike Everson. It's the second one that he's ever done, and uh, he said that he based it on an address that he used to live in in Kent. Uh, and I can already see the resemblance, frankly. All right. Um, let's see. Got to admit, I was a little wary when I read that first because uh, if you do a wad based on your own house or anything, uh, then it's usually not a great uh, space to actually have combat in, uh, by design in real offices, I imagine. Um, the first thing that I ever did in uh, Unreal Tournament was this uh, this recreation of my school in it, um, which if, I, if I'd done that in America, I'd have gone to jail for a hundred years for that. And, uh, you know, I, I had accurate recreations of all the rooms and the, how the walls looked and everything. Um, it, it was not a good map, but it impressed people. Okay. Don't know why I have such an aversion for just going in the front door, but, uh, oh god. Maybe the front door wasn't so bad after all. There's a, a Ragnachon there. I thought, I saw, I heard a Revenant. I can't get in there. Whoa! Ooh, by sheer luck, uh, he didn't quite get to fire off his last missile and uh, kill me in the face. Zap, zap, zap! Just hold them off. But I'm running out of ammunition, so... Whoa! I must have been in the line of fire there. Can get in. Oh, I've been unlucky with my shotgun! That's possibly the worst outcome I could have had out of that, because um, to have a demon take three shots and then an imp take two <laughs> is, a, is a big run of bad luck. Whoa! <laughs> well, um, the, the physics engine worked overtime there, didn't it? Um, Uh, so, the the Wolfenstein SS sprites, uh, it's it's regarded as... Oh, look at that, that's weird. There's uh, some enemies that haven't been activated yet. Um, I'm not sure if it's intentional that you're meant to see them yet. Uh, deactivating enemies is quite a rare thing. Um, there's a flag that you can have in... Uh, possibly only... There you go. Possibly only uh, GZ Doom maps that uh, lets you disable uh, objects in the level until you need them. Or, oh god, the, the disable flag has various uh, different uh, effects on different objects. If it's a light, it turns the light off and so on. If it's a monster, it will make it uh, inert and uh, not react to the player and uh, not react to bullets either. This isn't going well, is it? I'll do an exploration first, and then I'll maybe be beat it legitimately later. Oh, maybe I won't! Maybe I'll just die! How about that? Oh, thank you for splitting him apart. I'm just gonna punch a cacodemon there. Alright. Too close to a cacodemon. Let's, let's start all this again. And uh, maybe I'll have the discipline to get through it this time. Still, um, what was I saying? Yeah. The uh, Wolfenstein SS sprites, it's usually regarded as quite amateurish to have them in a WOD because it's, uh, it was always meant as this easter egg thing and they look completely different from the rest of the sprites. But they do serve a, a purpose that uh, none of the on other monsters do, honestly, which is this... Uh, well, actually, now that I say it, the change gun is almost identical, isn't it? So perhaps uh, I need to finish this sentence here. Anyway, it's not a fatal syndrome or anything, it's just mostly regarded as a bit weird by most people, I think. Alright, so... Let's, uh, shall I do this outdoor area? No, I think, I think I'll leave them alone for now. There he is, okay. I'm more prepared when I can see where he came from. Ah! 
and uh, I'm not. Uh, I, I I'm heeding the warning, by the way. I I do have mouse look on generally when I uh, play these wads, but uh, there's no jumping allowed in this one. And uh, yeah, you you can actually jump, but there's a way to turn jumping off if you look at your uh, map info. Uh, just look on the Zed Doom wiki for that. Uh, you can just say no jump, no crouch on your level, and that'll uh, remove the temptation entirely. But yeah, I generally I assume that uh, for Doom wards, you're not meant to jump unless it's explicitly allowed. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Steady that. I'll have that. All right. Now let's have the same presence of mind that I did before. <laughs> All right. And there's. Oh god, I forgot about him behind me. This this is weird, isn't it? The the st the uh, soldier standing still. Okay. Definitely a high level of challenge on this on ultra violence. I'll say that. Usually I notice because, uh, frankly, I'm not all that good at Doom. Oh, there's... I like the windows here, um, because that really keeps you on your toes. It means that there's no safe uh, places in the map. You, you can't hide around a corner because there's going to be an Arachnatron there, which is get available to get you. Oh wow, this is this is bad, bad uh, toxic waste. There's uh, levels of how uh, damaging it is, and this is the highest one. Uh, I would normally expect uh, the green stuff to be less damaging. Wow. I'm just trying to just explore any avenues that I haven't already. That's a nice use of an alternative... Uh, sound for the switch. Unless, unless uh, Beautiful Doom does that, I can't remember. I think that'll open the lower door. Yeah, it does. Where is he there? Let me up on that table! Ah! <laughs> is this meant to tantalise me? Because I can't quite get there. Is this an exit? It's weird. Okay, there's a refill of my health at least. Uh, I feel like an idiot run, uh, running away from a super shotgun. Ah! Ah ha ha! That's how you get there. Alright. Let's just save here, shall we? Uh, it's called London Road. Alright. So that's a yellow door, that's... oh, there's a teleporter, is there? Whoa! God almighty, it's a shower curtain! <laughs> Sorry, Revenant! Okay, so, um, this is missing its texture on the back side. Uh, it's possible to have a texture on this side and no texture on that side, and that's exactly what we've done. Maybe it was intentional, I don't know. Okay, but what does that switch do? Where is he? Ah, okay. So there's a nice uh, variety of rooms in this wad, uh, certainly so far, because you've got the uh, the tech basey outside, you've got the medieval castle, you've got the, uh, the sort of mysterious dark rooms here. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa! And uh, now a flesh cave. Oh god. There's an arch file. <sighs> he would probably have got me then. Just darted to the other side just in time. Alright. Here's some more uh, firepower now. So 
usually eye trials are placed in the most annoying places, but uh, I think that was a good placement of one in close quarters, where he could do his resurrections, but not absolutely devastate you doing it. Uh, where am I going? Yeah, so, uh, up here. Do you see what I mean, by the way, of, uh, I've, um... I've talked before about uh, not being able to believe that Doom didn't have room over room because you think surely in this building somewhere it's got to have happened, but uh, it hasn't. It's all uh... wow. This is this is very intricate. Okay. All oh, right, great. There's another one here. I need a red key to open the door, which I do not have. Great. That means I'm going to have to risk my health coming back here again. So let's go back to that outdoor area. Oh, no, that's not. Let's uh, go here where I died last time. Ready? That's a good trap with the red key, by the way. There we go. You can't escape. Okay. That's a nicely done fireplace as well, where you uh, sink the uh, little torch object in, so it looks like there's a fire there. Um, yeah, let, let's uh, go to the outdoor area as well, now that I've got uh, more firepower to survive it. Did they mostly just finish each other off? Oh no, uh, they're waking up now. Whoops. Uh, where's my plasma gun? Hmm. Yeah, so uh, I think in one of my fragmented sentences earlier, I, I, I said that I, I don't usually like turning off up and down movement because it just feels really weird and unnatural to me to rely on the auto-aim at this point. Because uh, you can see that even though I'm not aiming up and down, it's still going to auto-aim for me, but uh, I don't know. I, I, it makes me uncomfortable, so I prefer to just leave that on. Um, do you remember when I said uh, I like beginner maps because they're easy? Do you remember me saying that? Uh. But I've never, I've never felt it was unfair. Circle, 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 circle. Could do with a bit more health around the map. Well, maybe. Maybe I could do with just getting a bit better at the game. Up to you. What's that? Oh, it's a mega sphere. They're just used so rarely that uh, just maybe I haven't encountered one in uh, Beautiful Doom before. Oh come on! Oh, <laughs> I'm experiencing a quake because the rocket launcher was still uh, active when I died. Okay. Oh, I'm so inches away from my health back as well. Didn't notice him. A couple of hit scanners around. Alright, so that lets me in this way. Oh, so there's no point in uh, swimming in the toxic waste anyway. <coughs> because you can, you can go around it uh, either way. Okay. Well, uh, that's unfortunate, because I was rather hoping that uh, that would lead me somewhere else that I was meant to go. Instead, I'll just have to wander around a bit more. Hmm, I was thinking about, can I get over here with these stairs? I can, but I don't think that's intentional. <laughs> so, um, let me just uh, uncheat myself here. Yeah, I'm, I'm supposed to come at this in another direction. Hmm. 
Hmm. Still, speedrunning strategies. Except they don't call them strategies, do they? They're, they're, they're so obsessed with speed that they just call them strats, because it's faster to say that. Strategies waste too many frames. Just to... Ah, there it is. Knew there'd be a way into here. Just interested if I go... Back about, uh, yeah, I suppose that, yeah, that that texture's misaligned. That's good. That's an uh, indication of a secret. It's tricky to do uh, misaligned texture secrets because if you then misalign a different texture by accident somewhere in the map, then suddenly you're all inconsistent. Um, that's why I don't tend to do them because I'm uh, afraid that I'm just I'm going to. Uh... Oh, oh, okay. So I had the yellow key, or I picked it up at some point. Uh, Never mind. Okay, I've been wandering around for no reason. Um, but okay, there's uh, there's a, a tip for you that uh, you can get over there. Oh Christ Almighty! There's a spider mastermind. I'll let him deal with uh, some of the other hell spawn on his own. Uh, her own. I do beg your pardon. Because you do, you do need to be very sensitive to that. It's only polite. So it's still uh, machine gunning its way. Where is it? Woo! Okay. I did like the ending of uh, Doom Four, by the way, with with the uh, the reveal of the Spider Mastermind. It was a weird game, though. I still didn't really get it as a sequel to Doom. It's more like. A first-person... Whoa! Okay. It's more like a first-person Devil May Cry, where you're uh, s s finishing off demons in a really stylish way, and then you you go and punch a helper bot, and you get the upgrade, and you can kill demons in a more stylish way, and get more points for that. Oh! I didn't realize I was even walking through that wall. It's going to be hard with the pressure from the fire of the caca demons behind me. That is actually a, a brilliant map layout move. Do I have to go all the way back? No, I don't. Okay. Oh, right. How many secrets have we got? Two out of eleven! <laughs> uh, need to try harder. A rocket. How do I... how do I get this to go down? Yeah, I mean, Doom did kind of invent the rocket jump, although it was a horizontal one. There was a secret in uh, Episode 3 in the first game where you had to fire at a wall while invincible and they would shoot you over to the secret exit. A uh, hundred of these. It's better than zero of these. Okay. Got rid of quite a lot of them. And uh, there's only 12 more monsters to go. How do I get in there?
Am I meant to go over there? No? Hmm. That demon's easily punchable. <laughs> Killing me for not using the jump button. I know! The temptation is so strong. Just remember, when I'm completely stuck like this and the videos become boring, it's even more useful for the author. Because it might indicate that there's some switch that hasn't worked, or some switch that I have utterly failed to find. There it is! Alright, and um, these blue skulls uh, usually indicate the switch can only be activated if you have a blue key. But, uh, oh god. Um, in this case, it, that was to open the route to the blue key. So, you use the skulls a bit differently, uh, rather than just having the solid bars. Oh, I don't have Berserk anymore, do I? I remembered picking it up and, uh... Okay. There we go. Um, yeah, uh, you would normally expect, I would say, uh, a switch looking like that to uh, only be activatable once you've got the blue key. Alright, uh, in my perpetual state of poor health, I'm gonna soldier on. That's got to be close to the end by now. Um, how far? Oh, 140, so there are only six monsters to go. Blue door! I know where that is. I've forgotten where it is. <laughs> oh yeah, I know, I know. It's in this direction, but it's not actually there, is it? It's um, I have to go up to the other floor of the building. Baron of Hell, right behind the door. Did you learn that from Sigil? If so, stop. Ah. That is that is one of John Romero's favorite tricks that uh, he would he would stick a powerful monster right behind the door and so it would get right in your face. That's a cyber demon. All oh, right. Um. Normally, I would possibly prefer having the door the the bottom of the door correctly aligned rather than the top. Uh. Yeah, like that. The, 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 in this one, the bottom of the door is aligned with the floor. In, in the other side, the top of the door is aligned with the ceiling, so it looks like the door kind of cuts off. Okay, Cyber Deem. Oh god, he's up there already. And there's an arch file. And they can both get stuffed. Alright, that's London Road finished! I know that I cheated a bit there with resurrecting and so on, but... Uh, that's a very creative and unexpectedly challenging map that's uh, definitely got a lot of different areas and architectures and corridors wrapping around each other and uh, cleverness in it. A uh, couple of uh, minor points that I mentioned as I went along, but still, that's, uh, that's a really nice, especially considering that's your f second level for Doom Ever, and I would love to play anything else by you. So thank you very much once again.